Good morning guys, I'm Mano. Today I want to do an experiment day. So again, <laughs> again, I love experimenting, you know me. Um, today I want to try to do some fractals dendrites. I have been inspired by a dirty artist from Australia and Miriam's Nature. So I will link both of their channels in the description box so if you want to see how to do it well I'm gonna probably do the same so <laughs> um, yeah I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun creating those dendrites and um, I will bring you down right now on my colors and the products I'm gonna be using for today Alright guys, so today what I need to realize this craziness of fra fractals dendrites um, We need Floetrol, of course We need um, Artist Loft Soft Body in White Now, I took one part paint to three parts Floetrol that I mixed here So I'll show you the consistency you know leaves a trace there and in here in this little here in this little cup here I have isopropyl alcohol um, we need also uh, acrylic inks uh, sorry I'm making a shadow here so I have only two of these but you know it's an experiment. I just want to try things. So, uh, and I also have a silicone oil here. I'm not sure I'm going to use this. Maybe. Who knows? We'll try. We'll try. It's going to be an experiment day. I said to you guys. So, let's have fun. <laughs> let's try new things. All right, guys. I'm back. Look how small this canvas is. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> this is a five by seven little canvas here. Um, now, for starts, I think that I'm going to layer down um, a coat of white on here. Okay, now that my base coat is on, I am going to put uh, a few drops of acrylic ink in this little painter's palette here. Okay, I put two, two little drops in here of the, uh, I think it's turquoise, yes, turquoise deep. And in here, I will put two drops also of, this one is uh, Thalo Blue. Okay, now, let's add a few drops of alcohol. Now I added, I put two drops of ink and four drops of alcohol. Okay, let's do this. And now all you have to do is just feed it for it to go, grow bigger. You 
could always stay in the middle if you want, but as I did, I created other little fractals just beside it. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is pretty cool. Okay, let's do the same thing with the deep turquoise. Let's do another one, uh, let's say over here. This is so cool, guys. Okay, now I have a resin dye here. I'm not sure this is going to work, but why not try a little corner here just to see if it works. Oh. this gonna work? No. <laughs> oh well a little bit. Yeah it's working a little bit. But like I said it's resin dye so oh it does work. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Oh my goodness, this is totally different. Looks like a lot more like hair. Okay, now I want to try, um, let's say I put a drop on the canvas just to see how it's going to work. And here's a drop, a drop of silicone. Ooh, this is so much fun! <laughs> this is so cool, guys. Okay, let's make it bigger.
Okay, guys, <clears throat> I am going to bring in you in for. <laughs> okay, rewind. <laughs> I am going to bring you in for a close up on this because it is so interesting the differences between uh, the three methods I could say that I used. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm bringing you in, guys. You gotta see this. Okay, guys, now what I understand of uh, these fractals dendrites is that where there's no space for them to grow in between it doesn't grow it stops there so look at that look at that one this is so cool okay this is what happened when I put the ink straight on the canvas then I added a silicone uh, drop silicone oil drop, and then I added the isopropyl alcohol. This is what happened. This one also. Like I said, this part here couldn't grow because he was there first. See? Now, this here is the first one I did. Let me show you from real close. It's so interesting. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And the other one here is the second one I did. So pretty. Now, this one up here, look at that. Looks like hair almost. Like an eye with hair all around. <laughs> so this is the resin dye that I used. And obviously, these two can mix. You see? They touch each other. So this is pretty cool. If you want them to touch, I think this is the way. So again, uh, look at that. I really am impressed. Looks like little branches. <laughs> so cool. Okay, now this one again is the uh, resin dye that I used but it didn't get to touch. Uh, it did not get to touch, you know, here. Sorry for the focus, I'm having a hard time there. I think, see, this again is the resin dye. So, there you have our little experiment day. Um, I think it was pretty cool trying those dendrites. So if you want to do a painting with those, I mean, this is obviously very cool. So I think that I'm going to keep on having a little bit more fun here. And um, I will show you once it's totally dried. No flashing today, Donna. This is one of my friends, Donna. She loves when I say, I'll flash ya. But no, today, no flashing. I will show you once it's totally dry, guys. See ya. All right, guys. So this is the dried results the next day. Um, I got to admit that uh, it didn't dry quite like I would have loved. Look at that. This little guy here. <laughs> looks like a little tree it's like fading away and this one also um this this is nothing <laughs> but the one in the middle with the this one here the one that i used with uh the silicone oil stayed stayed put this one also but the other ones with the i'll um only the isopropyl alcohol i uh, did not do the job they're they they're fading while they're drying so yeah so guys 
this one is a winner. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching, guys, my little experiments. And I, I'm always trying to have fun. And, um, yeah, I hope you like this. So, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing. And until the next video, don't ever forget that I love you guys. Au revoir.